Pete and Hannah's Watchlist. I'm your host, Pete Mitchell. I'm here with my great co-host, Hannah! Hello, people. Hannah, we're here today for Movie News. Yes. Also, clickbait Mm -hmm. and clickbait headlines. And we're also going to take a look at what are we watching next week. Yes, yes. But before we begin, let us tell the viewers and the listeners what they should do. Pretty please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. Leave a comment down below any of your feedback, good or bad, you know. Have a chat in the comments down below. Hit the notification button and you'll get great content like this one, including we interrupt regular program where Hannah joined me to discuss all things Ra Dragons. Also... We interrupt regular program. We talked about Inside Out to the biggest hit of the world this year. Ho, oh, ha, love it. Yes. And The Exorcism. You know they're promoting that movie that Russell Crowe's on in it? Ha, <laughs> ha, why? It's great. <laughs> well, he does take a backseat role, I guess. Even though he's... A backseat the- role? He's head button <laughs> tails. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, Hannah, on today's show, uh, we like to do a little segment called a Click... Me. Hoo-ha. Hoo-ha. Uh, yeah, no, it is my week this week. Yeah, it is. And I, in the fact that next week we are getting the film Despicable Me 4. That is true. I was thinking about how, you know, how villains turn heroes. You know, like the redemption arc we've been having a very much a lot of the time nowadays in movies and TV. Especially sure. with superheroes. But yeah, Gru, start, Gru, the main character of Despicable Me, was is was a villain. That is technically true. Technically a villain, but he's done more heroic deeds and saved a lot. And he's a nice guy, you know. He's a nice guy. So I thought about like my kind of top, like kind of top five in movie history. I think it definitely will need work on because okay. there's so many movies. Okay. And but the context is the character has to be a villain in the movie they're in. Yep. And then has to either become heroic or redeem themselves either in that movie or in a movie canon to the movie, you know, like right. a, or a show. Love it. That has to be connected in some way. I, I went like, okay, well, let's go top five. Um, on the fifth one, I kind of did a joint one, so it's a little win. Um, Scrooge and the Grinch, because I find that they both have similar kind of, they hate Christmas and then by the end they're... Sure. You know, they come together. You know, they're the villains in, in the story, very okay. much so. Yeah, I can that. You know, especially Scrooge. Like, uh, Scrooge, um, yeah, in A Christmas Carol, any yeah. version, he's very much an evil guy. He I'm sucks. Interested, I'm interested to hear this list because yeah. I've got one in my mind. Yeah. Yeah. He sucks. We don't like him. But then by the end of the movie, when he's, you yeah. know, seen that he's done wrong, he redeems himself, yeah. becomes a good guy. Yeah. You know, that kind of stuff. I like it. Uh, number four, I'm going to go with um, Megamind, because Megamind is yes, one of, this. it's the most underrated DreamWorks film, Yeah, and it came out before. Probably the, it, it one of the out, best animation movies yeah, of this century. It Best comedy, like, on the list. Yeah. It, the problem Amazing. with it, it, it just came out the wrong time or something, like, people did not go see it, and it was before superhero movies really were like, yeah. this was m- making joke at it similar to Incredibles but in a way that nowadays <laughs> the yeah. villain always becomes the hero and yeah and so in this movie you have um, Megamind who's played by Will Farr, and he's the villain but then when the hero leaves he needs to have someone to fight so he gets a new villain uh, he gets a new hero but that turns out to be the villain so mm-hmm. he has to end up rescuing the day uh, great redemption great very funny, great soundtrack. Yeah. Incredible. It, yep. It's real. Great bird pit. Um, yeah, number three. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to... I'm putting this at three, but you can... Like, anyone can change it. Technically, Terminator. Oh, yeah. Terminator yeah. 2 is Term- big. Yeah. yeah, so the first Terminator. Evil. Al's Ar- Arnie. Yep. He's evil. He's determined. And, and then... In oh, the second in film, the movie where you he changes and you think it's, I think it's one of those big it's moments. Great, yeah, yeah, great, yeah. It's one of those moments in, in movie history where yeah. you were like, "That guy's the villain." Yeah, but in the sequel, even the all working way up, like, and you yeah. think, "Oh, he's, you know, bang, uh, he's, he's a good guy." Yeah, like he's the guy. You're like, <laughs> yeah, Arsene it's a great, Vista. it's a great redemption arc yeah. for what is essentially great one. robots. And two, uh, two, I got to go with one of the best ones that's been like one of the biggest ones yeah. so far. 
and that's Loki's redemption arc. Oh, sniveling, great one. Weasel, great one. Villain. He he killed eighty two people in yeah. two days. He yeah. adopted. You know, like he was a villain, very much so. But he goes through like just the movie wise. Yeah. Like by the last film he's in. Uh, he, you know, sacrifices himself. Yep. Like, he plays a trick and then gets, ends up having... Great one. Yeah, he sacrifices himself. And then now, he's uh, he's the most selfless uh, person in all of the MCU. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Before you name your number one, can I name an honourable mention that yeah, yeah. you are never going to name, but I think this is yeah, yeah. the perfect example of this. Okay. Where's Mantooth? Where's Mantooth? Yeah, yes! yeah. Yes! Yes! Yeah. That's a great one. Yeah, because in the second one, he saves the day. Yeah, yes. Where's yeah, Mantooth? Yeah, yeah. We're talking about in yeah. Anchorman. Yeah. San Diego. Yeah, yeah. San Diego. Yeah. San Diego, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very this important. This is old San Diego. Yeah. Very important. Yeah, West Mantooth. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah, like yeah. a character, you're like, that's that's a villain. Uh, but... I don't know who your number one is, but I have one in your mind. So you maybe yeah. want to name, name number one because I've got my number one. Yeah. So I'm putting him as number one just because... It's the most, one of the most impactful yeah. moments in movie history. Mm. And that is, that is Darth Vader, of course, from yeah. Star Wars. You gotta get it. If you're, only... if you're not counting the prequels, yeah. right? You're just like straight in, I'm watching the original trilogy. Yeah, yeah. You watch that first two oh, movies. Even if you count the prequels, like. Yeah, no. Even if you do count the prequels, that's a big turnaround. Yeah, yeah. He's it, a baddie. Yeah, he's a baddie. And By number three, he, he's really bad. In the in the so you get these two movies with Darth Vader. Yeah, he is like Dennis the Menace. He is like yeah, the he most. Yeah, he killed Obi Wan. He's the most terrifying yeah. being we've ever seen on screen. Yeah, and the, and you find he out put, he's the hero's dad. He put, You're like this guy he is put a Han monster. in bloody. He cuts off his son's Come head. On. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. this guy's a monster. There's only and then one. By the third, third movie, he. There's he's, only one he's villain here. that has turned hero that would be on the same. Line as him, yeah. yeah, on the same line as Darth Vader. Yeah. That's Apollo Creed. That's what I was thinking, but I was like, no, he, no, no. He's not the villain in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he's the villain in number one, and it's especially true. number two. But he was calling you know Rocky what? some bad so, words. Apollo Creed was on my list, right? Right, yeah. But then I remembered the funerals, the funeral scene. Oh. So in the director's cut of four, oh. there's a funeral, the funeral scene of Apollo. Spoilers, by the way. Um. It, dramatically, there's the line of, like, this guy gave me my chance. Without Apollo, like, I wouldn't be here. And it's so amazing. And I'm like, that's right. Apollo did kind of just... Even though he's the villain, so to speak, he yeah. gave this kid out of nowhere a the chance. chance. And I'm like, that's a, that's a villain behavior. That's the goat behavior. But in number two, he, do, he yeah. does say some mean stuff about Rocky. I mean, come on. <laughs> he does. It's true. He does. He does say mean stuff. But... Great number one, like perfect. Yeah, number see, one. that's but yeah. Great number one, great number one. I would have put uh, Apollo it. and where's Mantooth, man? Oh uh, yeah, no, yeah. I think there's and, tons and you know when you go through. You know, is it who is a sneaky bad guy at the start of the movie, but then turns a really good guy at the yeah. end? Is Riggs out of Lethal Weapon? He, I guess yes, because yeah, he's he's the yeah. antithesis to yeah. to Murta, like yeah, and um like. She wavers was... throughout movies and stuff like that. Good, bad, good, bad, what? good, bad. Catwoman. Yeah, but Catwoman in, in you film. Love Catwoman. Yeah, you yeah. Love Catwoman. Yeah, yeah. But in film portrayal, like the like, let's just say the live action screen portrayals, she's always she walks that line. She doesn't she... she doesn't really walk the line of actual villainy, like yeah. stealing. Yeah. yeah, it's a crime, but it's not. Oh, like... boy. I don't know. She hasn't. She she doesn't cause. Mm. She's caused menace, but not real terror. I would say compared to a lot of the other. I like villains. your Loki one as well. Loki's a really good one. Loki is the biggest redemption arc for mm. a long time, and so yeah, no, that's what I'm talking about. Like villains, it's now a common thing. I think because of Loki. Well, you know, you I didn't mention Bucky. Bucky also technically Bucky, Bucky goes uh, through it. Yeah. He's the Winter Soldier. I hate, I hate the Bucky. Okay, we're hate pro the... Bucky people here. We no, don't listen to this guy. Not, yeah, not pro Bucky people. Um. The, probably one of the biggest good guy turned villains in TV is Spike from Buffy. Like, he started out as a real yeah, bad guy. Yeah, and and then Angel good guy. Was, oh, Angel. Yeah, 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 as well. he, yeah anyone, he, actually. Good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. In the show, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the vampires? Not actually that evil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, let us actually, know. Actually, romantic address. <laughs> let us know your favorite villain turned hero. Yeah. Uh, in the comments below. Yeah. Let's go over to my favorite segment. Hannah and Movie News. Welcome back to Movie News. 
This week, do you miss the colour yellow? Hearing the word banana? Well, you're in luck, because we've got Despicable Me 4. That's right, Gru and his family are back, and they've got a new addition, a sweet little baby boy. And while they're all just, you know, enjoying life, turns out there's a new villain on the scene, hell-bent on revenge against Gru and his family. And well, they need some extra help, so turns out some of the minions are going to be turned into super minions. That's right, we're going to see the Bad Batch in minion form. That's what we'll be seeing this week. Leave a comment down below and when you'll be watching. And until next week, bye! Clickbait headlines this week, and we've got a couple of good ones. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of good trailers as well. Um, stories going around town that Spaceballs, the famous Mel Brooks movie, yeah. they're making a sequel with Josh Gad. Oh, Come okay. Home. Josh yeah. Gad. All right. Yeah. Uh, they're remaking um, uh, the TV show um, White Collar. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. that should be good. Oh. Uh, Brad Pitt's true. Formula One movie that some people are saying it's going to cost $500 million <laughs> uh, is going to be released through the great what? people at Warner Brothers. Oh, so of course. It's Apple TV, let's, let's... but Warner Brothers um, are going to look after that movie uh, oh. for them. Um, Inside Out 2, we talked about earlier this week, but it's still been a massive... Yeah, it's uh, box office, it's so it's good. huge. Disney it's like are like, $270 million oh, sequels? Yeah, well, let's do more sequels. sequels. Pixar, can you do more sequels? Let's do more sequels. Um, Will Smith's um, next movie has been announced. It's a sci-fi thriller. Uh, it's called The Resistor. Ah, so it's just so, going back to basics. Yeah. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the foul talks between uh, Paramount Studios and Skydance. Uh, mm. So we still haven't found a a, uh, a buyer, and there's um, some set photos of Gladiator Two, and Paul Mescal is in the sh the uh, vest that uh, Maximus well, Pablo he, Russell. He does like, idolize the guy, yeah. Yeah, and um, there's like a special yeah, I'm not uh, uh, etching on the other side where they never had one, and it looks like it's either Russell Crowe as an angel going up to heaven, or, <laughs> or it's his mum. Couple of people are speculating online about that. Yeah, I love that. Um, yeah, but that's uh, that's it for quick buy and headlines. Mm -hmm. uh, this week, our movie that we're watching is Despicable Me Four. Four. Yeah. Never seen it any of them, so this one should be fun. And I've seen them all, unfortunately. Except I, I didn't see two. Inside Out one. Like to be honest, uh, I've animations on my usually, yeah, animations on my thing. I normally get Hannah to do it for me, but now you know we're doing a channel and we're trying to do back and forth. I try and see everything. And then I've missed so, movies, and now it's the opposite of Yeah, well, you never used to watch uh, Scary, but I, I convinced you to see Exes. Yeah, you know, but so. I also don't... I usually just do You're into Smile too, aren't you? No. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> well, I, I, we saw a trailer the other day, and I haven't one. seen a trailer for it. It's Long Legs. And you know why yeah. it, 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 it really enthuses me? The trailer... The movie stars Nicolas Cage. Yeah, and so you do not see him once in the trailer. Yeah, but you know he's there. Oh, yeah. That is really good. That you know what tells that tells me. He, yeah, his look's like, gonna be menacing. It's gonna be great. Yeah, it's either menacing or it's like uh, he's early in it. So <laughs> long, long legs is a movie that's gonna come out towards the end of the year, yeah. and uh, yeah, it's yeah, it looks great. So if you haven't seen that, see the trailer. That is it for today's show. For our YouTube viewers, stick around. And you'll get the answer for can you guess the movie. But yes. stick around on the channel this week. AFI Top 100 tomorrow, Shawshank Redemption. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. That is my lovely co-host, Hannah. That is it for today's episode along Live Cinema. Until we meet again, it's bye for now. the movie and the answer is despicable me it the is first one. it yeah. is yeah. i remember seeing the first one in cinemas yeah. Yeah. i did yeah yeah um one of our Huge great time. youtube subscribers uh guess 
the yeah, answers. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, like, I told you that. Like, we were debating back and forth on which one. Like, we were going for Steve Carell. Yeah, yeah, we were going right. to recommend. Yeah. yeah, and then we were just like, and then I was like, yeah, just mm. follow me. Gotta go, gotta go. It is true. Uh, that is it for today's show. And uh, thanks, everyone. Catch you soon. And till then.